Hey friends, this is Sabi. Today, I'm going to speak to you about Epikaizo. So what is Epikaizo mean? The meaning of Epikaizo means overshadowing. When I see what is the meaning of overshadowing, or what is the meaning of Epikaizo? It is the highest realm of the power of God. Highest, oh, I can say the high, highest uh, realm of the glory of God. The highest realm of the manifestation of the glory of God. So like if you know in Greek there are various words of power like Dunamis, Exorcia, but this word Epikaizo is the highest level of power, the highest level of power that, that uh, anybody can even, even think of, it is the biggest level of power. So what, 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 what happens in this realm, I mean, what is happening in the realm of Epikaizo, the overshadowing, the things which you feel is, which is absolutely impossible, whatever you say is absolutely impossible, absolutely, absolutely impossible, will become possible. In the realm of epikaizo, in this realm, it's, it's going to become possible. Whatever is absolutely impossible, whatever you feel is not going to happen, it cannot happen in your wildest imagination, cannot going to happen. That's going to be happening in the realm of epikaizo. Because epikaizo is overshadowing, overshadowing of God's power, overshadowing of God, 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 overshadowing of everything. So epikaizo is, is is that thing. So I'll, I'll tell you some verses where the this word epikaizo has appeared uh, in in the world of God. Let's turn to Luke chapter one verse thirty five. I will read it out to you. And it says that, and the angel answered and said to her, that is said to Mary, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore, also the one who is to be born will be called the Son of God. Jesus to come on this world, Jesus to become flesh, Epikaizo was the highest realm of power that operated out over there. It's the highest realm of power, but everything which you think is absolutely impossible will, will, will cause it to happen, will become possible. This is the first time when it was uh, the word Epikaizo was mentioned. Uh, second time the word Epikaizo was mentioned in, uh, I'll say in the book of Matthew, chapter 17, verse 5, I'll read it out to you. It says, uh, this, is, this is what happened on the Mount of Transfiguration. It says, uh, in, in this verse, uh, while they were still being, uh, beyond a cloud overshadowed them, and suddenly a voice came out of the saying, like, this is my beloved son, whom I am well pleased. Here also you can know here was a time when Jesus had gone to with the Mount of uh, Transfiguration where he was transfigured. But you know, Epikaizo is a realm where even transfiguration or transformation is possible. I'll say transformation or transfiguration. So this is a realm, this is a realm where when this oh shadow of the power of God, oh shadow of the glory of God, every, anything can happen. You, your bodies can be transformed in that time. That is the realm the bodies can transform. Here it says it was a realm that, 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 that uh, the world became flesh out over here. And here is a, 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 a way of transformation. And the third time the word Epikaizo was used in Acts chapter 5 verse 15. I'll read it to you. We all know about this, uh, the, uh, uh, Peter, uh, the Apostle Peter. Uh, and it says that uh, as they brought the sick out into the street, laid them on the best couches, that, that at least a shadow of the Peter passing might fall on some of them. So this, this realm of Epikaizo even God has kept for us. That today it is his bride who is going to walk and, and even their shadow. Is going to heal, he's going to deliver a lot of people. So, Epicaso realm has uh, it's been on all these things three verses, which is it. I'll read to you the verse one of the famous words that we always say is Psalm 91. So, I'll see what does the Psalm 91 say. Let's read, let's read only the first word of Psalm 91. Psalm 91 says that he who dwells in the sacred place of the Most High shall appear under the shadow of the Almighty. Here is once again the, it says about overshadowing. That it says, he who dwells in the sacred place of the Most High. How can we dwell in the sacred place? It, the sacred place is the communion between you and your, your loving God. It's, it's, it's intimacy. It's, a, it, it's a, the prayer. It's, the, it's, it's a two-way connection. It's, 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 in, it's, it's a realm where you talk to God, God speaks to you, and the impossible things are uh, is going to happen possible. That is what a realm that God has called you. But it says you have to be in the secret place of the, of the Most High. The, 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 the secret place is the communication, the relation between you and your loving God. That is what, and it says in the way Matthew 17 verse 5, says, as, as, as Jesus was praying, the transfiguration can happen. Similarly, so as you pray, as you pray in the Spirit, as you, as you pray with the intimacy of God, uh, the, uh, uh, the, oh, the oh shadowing will happen over there. And oh shadowing is, 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 is the fullness of the glory of God. And that's a realm which, which says that it's going to be happen, everything possible. So I want to encourage you by saying that, believe that God is making you prepare for this realm. 
when the when the old shadow of his power will be upon you, and the old shadow will just go on flowing and flowing everywhere because you are his chosen vessel. Thank you.